Well, Porsche is holding the launch of the Panamera e-hybrid here in Cape Town, South Africa. It's summer here, it's hot, and we're looking at their latest flagship sedan. Now, the Panamera was a little polarizing the first iteration because of the back, the styling. It was always a wonderful car to drive, but the styling maybe missed the mark for some potential buyers. Now they've cleaned things up. This is the second generation Panamera, but it's already on a brand new platform. So the goal with this new car was to make it look more appealing. It's got more of a fastback, coupe-like silhouette. And the whole idea with this car was to mimic the Carrera family. So the way the fenders and the headlights incorporate into each other, similar to the Carrera, the side windows and what they call the fly line, that's the roof line down the back is meant to look similar to a Carrera and it looks much more cohesive. The design really is like the original but polished and smoother and much more up to date and now there's no excuse not to like it based on styling. The interesting thing is even though the roof is a little bit lower by uh, two centimeters they were able to maintain the height in the back seat for tall passengers. The target for the first car was six feet four inches still able to achieve that because they dropped the rear seats down a little bit. So the styling is wonderful I especially like the headlamps and the rear tail lights that have the four markers really looks like the sports cars inside is a showcase of what Porsche can do I got a confession for you I love big cars I love luxury cars but I also love Porsches I've owned three of them and this would be the perfect marriage for me I just think the interior of this car is spectacular and the one thing Porsche does better than pretty much every manufacturer is the quality the fit and finish and the materials that go into these cars really is second to none and you'll notice right away a beautiful 12.3 inch screen that's in the center of the car it's a massive screen and it has lots of new functions to it and it's operated either through the touch screen or the buttons or lack of buttons below that. Now I love the previous Panamera with the buttons down the center. It looked like a spine and it was easy to drive and just hit them and, and keep your focus on the road. Well now they have the sort of touch sensitive pad for a lot of the same features where those buttons used to be. They're now touch sensitive, kind of like using a smartphone. So I get the idea. Uh, my worry is this will look dirty all the time with fingerprints. Uh, so that's something you have to get used to. And they've moved things around so where you would think the volume switch is, it isn't. But every time I get a car where I'm a little bit confused at first, I always say to myself, you know what, after you had this car for a couple of weeks, everything would become second nature. And even the two days here, it has become second nature. The screen is so vivid and bright, and when you put the reversing camera on, it's like super HD. It's fantastic to look at. So. Uh, the shifter now is a pistol shifter, it's electronically controlled and, and that's basically a pad where you put your hand and you roll the volume up and down and the buttons are around it. Now on either side of the tack, the tack is still analog and that's always going to be front and center on any Porsche is the rev counter and on either side you have two 7 inch um, screens that you can change whatever you want to put in there whether it's navigation, radio information, what have you. You've got the same steering wheel you get in the sports cars. So everything in here is absolutely first rate and gorgeous. So it's a little bit confusing at first, but after a while, all of these things become second nature. So you might be wondering why a hybrid Panamera and what's the thought process behind this car? Well, somebody that's maybe thinking of getting an electric car, but also wants a luxury performance sedan, this is what Porsche is going after. Now, yes, Tesla makes uh, a car that has a lot of performance and it's 100% electric, it's got great range, it's got all of that, but it doesn't have the level of finish and polish that this Porsche has. The interior, as I mentioned, is already uh, so beautifully crafted and I don't believe that Tesla's anywhere even in the same realm when it comes to the interior amenities. Then you add in what Porsche is capable of doing and that is making cars that handle and perform right at the top of their game, this Panamera Hybrid included. What you have is the ability to run up to 50 kilometers on pure electric power. So for the majority of people waking up in the morning, unplugging their Panamera, driving to work and home, you'd be driving on just pure electric power most of the time. Now the great thing about Porsche is it gives you so many different options. I'm driving right now in the classic hybrid mode, so the gas and the electric are working together on and off like you would say with a Prius, uh, but in a big luxury sedan. Then you can go into Sport, which has the gasoline engine coming on more to add more power and Sport Plus. 
Now the biggest difference with this car is the fact that it has an automatic transmission. It's a PDK. The previous version of this car had a uh, sort of a Tiptronic style. This is a PDK with a dual clutch. It works whether you're in electric mode or the hybrid electric system combined. Now the majority of electric cars have direct drive. The wheels can spin as fast as the electric motor will allow it. And some hybrids have an automatic transmission, but most have a CVT. That gives you the ability to change gears and hold gears for more spirited performance, and it has a more natural drive. In fact, when this car is in electric mode, um, you actually hear noise kind of like an engine, but it's actually the sound from the transmission and the wheels. It almost sounds like you're driving a regular car, even in electric mode. And the other thing Porsche is known for is producing wonderful handling cars. This car has the adaptive suspension, it's got air suspension, it's got uh, the shocks that you can firm up or make softer depending on what you want. You add that with the different modes. You can tailor this car for exactly what you want to do. If you want it soft and electric, you can do that. If you want it balls to the walls and stiff, tossing it around on the corners, you can get that as well. So that's what Porsche is offering, a true Porsche plus the ability to go 50 kilometers on pure electric power. Now the combined output of this car is 462 horsepower. It can make a run to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.6 seconds, which is very quick. It can actually drive on pure electric range at 140 kilometers an hour. Now the gasoline engine is a new 2.9 liter V6 bi-turbo and it has 330 horsepower. So that's the gasoline engine all on its own. But that's the other beauty of this car. You never have to worry about having a place to plug in. If you can't, you just drive it the way you normally would in hybrid or straight gas. Now a Porsche Panamera is not an inexpensive proposition, but neither is a Tesla. And with this, you get a bit of everything. You get an electric car, you get a hybrid car, you get a performance car, you get a luxury car, and you get a Porsche uh, for about the same price. And I know which one I'd pick. Now I mentioned when I was driving the Tesla, and I think a lot of people are gonna draw a comparison because this is an electric version of the Panamera. It's four doors, it's got the hatch around the back, you know, similar sizes. But that car is wonderful at straight line acceleration. This Panamera picks up everything else. It's got wonderful handling, it's got adaptive suspension, it's got all the different modes from electric to hybrid to flat out performance, plus it has an interior that put the rest of the industry to shame. It's a wonderful car to drive and a great execution. So at a hundred and roughly thirteen thousand dollars for this car, if you were to equip uh, Tesla to the standards of this car, I think it would be more expensive. And the other thing is now you can get a rebate in many provinces for buying an electric car. So if you want to go from mild to wild, this car can do it all in one beautiful package.